So I've been taking pictures of Comet 3i Atlas pretty much almost every day, every clear night, every clear morning. The solar system comets, most of them are, they have, they are icy bodies. They have a long tail and the tail is made of gases, water vapor, and they have those tails as they get closer to the sun and they get either warmer or hotter and the tails get formed and you can clearly see the chemical signature of these comets, most of the solar system comets. So some of them has shorter orbits around the sun and the others have much longer or long period orbits around the sun but they are all solar system bound. Comet 3i Atlas is an interstellar comet. So it didn't come from our solar system. Chances are it may be coming from a different solar system or even worst case, it may be coming from a different galaxy. We don't know. We don't even know the chemical composition of this comet really well. We call it a comet because that's what we are so used to. When I take the pictures of this comet, I'm looking at not the gas tail or either front or a back, I'm actually looking at the gas around the comet. There are jets going off on all sides of this comet. There are multiple variations what I have seen. I'm going to show you those pictures. Not only that, the comet has different color composition, depends on the day when we are looking at. Sometimes it is orange, sometimes it is green. Uh, since the chemical composition is unknown, we don't know how it is reacting when it is getting closer to Sun, and now it is getting closer to Jupiter. Jupiter is a huge planet in our solar system. You can almost like fit thousand Earths inside Jupiter. Unlike we were told, Jupiter is not really only a gas giant, it's actually a liquid metal giant. So the radiation belts of Jupiter are thousands of miles away from Jupiter, close to three to four hundred thousand miles. 3i, Comet 3a Atlas is not going anywhere near that, it's passing further by, but the size of the Jupiter is huge. So the gravitational power that Jupiter has is also huge, close to 0.35 astronomical units around the Jupiter. So anything going that close, which Comet 3i is going that close, is gravitationally may get attracted by uh, Jupiter, if it is going slow. So if the comet gets slower, and if it gets into or gets near the, you call it gravity well or gravity hill, it might lose its orbit around the sun and it might become a gravitationally bound by Jupiter, meaning it will become one of the moons of Jupiter. If it is a really slow comet and if it gets attracted, so back in time, like in 1920s, 100 years ago, Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 came in and it was slow going when it closed, get, got closer to the Jupiter and it started moving away from the Sun's orbit to the Jupiter's orbit. And if the orbit is unstable, it might actually crash into Jupiter. Over a period of several years later, the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet crashed into Jupiter and it created a signature on the Jupiter's surface. We are not expecting that to happen to Comet 3i because 3i is going really fast. It's not slow like other comet that we have seen. It's much faster than any other comet we have seen. So it can easily pass the gravity well of the Jupiter. 
but we don't know the chemical makeup of this comet we don't know the impact of the jupiter radiation on this comet so there is quite a bit of wait and see and learning that we may have to have with this comet we are all learning this interstellar object and about it together let me show you the pictures that i took of comet 3i uh, there are three different variations of it if you are new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and the notifications button and if you give me a thumbs up you will get a notification when i post a new video on comet 3i or any other astronomy videos let me quickly show you the data that i captured so far so let me show you the pictures that i captured so far so this is the first set of pictures captured a month ago so these ones you can see the gas around them they don't look like jets but they look more like gas you can clearly see they have gas around them you see that right they they have gases coming around them they're like almost like a coma right so when i see the negative of that picture like invert of that picture and when i take a look at that now it's quite obvious that the coma around that object is very clear it's flying around right so that's one type of pictures that i took so these are the second set of pictures that i have and these ones you can clearly see some coma around them it's also green in color right and you will see the coma is shooting in the front right once in a while you see the gas coming into the front now like right now right yeah let you take a look at it so there are times when the gas comes into the front this is coma but the size of the coma is huge the gas is around that is huge this is what you would see when you create a negative image of those pictures it clearly shows that there is now coma and those gases are shooting across i inverted the third set of pictures as well and you can clearly see the gases that are coming out so in each of those cases you would see the gases either coming out as jets or coming out as coma and jets or just coma or jets flying around so these are the three different variations of the comet that i have seen so 3a atlas shows either flying through some coma around it or releasing bunch of jets and gas like this way huh? or a coma like almost like a comet a jet in the front and some jets around it so these are the pictures that i have taken i inverted them and i'm presenting this to you in one screen so you can actually see how this comet is behaving depends on the day we are looking at I'm going to take more pictures of this comet and I will keep track of how it is going to behave when it gets closer to Jupiter. It's going to be very interesting. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and click on the notifications button. So whenever I post new videos, you are going to get a notification. Also give me a like button. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you.